Okay, so today we're going to look at the other four inks in the Aura and Klingna sketch ink series. Uh, I did a video, if you hadn't seen that, I'll put it in the description showing the this these six colors. And I went ahead and bought the last four colors in the collection, so we can look at those today. Uh, just as a little side note, some of these uh, pictures on here aren't really work safe, so just in case, I mean, you can't really see much. It's they're kind of small, but you know, these two are a little risque if you're worried about that at all. Uh, anyway, moving on, let's look at the colors. Okay, so the first one we're going to have a look at is Clara, and this one is a green. So it seems like on here it looks quite uh, yellowish green, but then on this label here it looks like it's leaning more towards the blue. So um, in the swatch, we'll have a look and see which way I think it's probably going to lean more towards this, like a bluish green, but I think it's going to be quite vibrant. Then we have this electric color here, which is Veroni, I think, Veroni, uh, which looks like a really hot pink here. Yeah, so that's going to be lovely. I think it's going to be quite vibrant. It looks quite vibrant here. And then we have this beautiful bright blue, which is Marlene. So this looks like a fairly primary blue. Um, doesn't look terribly green or yellow or red purpley. So I think this is going to be, you know, quite an ultramarine kind of blue maybe. And then the last one we have is Lily, which is a sort of a brownish green, I believe. So this is sort of the warm gray, maybe. So we'll have a look at that. Okay, so here's all our swatches of the, the last four inks in the Sketch Ink series. Let's take a look at them in a little more detail. So this is Clara, so this is the vibrant green. I'm not sure if it's turning up on camera, but it is really quite bright. And it's sort of a minty green definitely a little blue in there. Yeah, that's a really lovely color. And then we have Marlene, which is this primary blue here. Uh, yeah, so it's a super bright blue, sort of towards the ultramarine kind of blue here. So this seems to be kind of our only primary color in the mix. Uh, so this is just a really solid blue. And then this one is Vroni, which is a hot pink it doesn't I don't think it shows on camera as much <laughs> and if you're familiar with any of the pilot Arusha Zuki line uh, this looks similar to Yamabudo that vibrancy of the pink it's a little lighter than that but it definitely leans more towards the pink than the red and then this last one is Lily which is this gorgeous deep brown khaki green uh, yeah so these are really interesting I'm going to go grab all the swatches of the other inks that I swatched in the last video and we'll take a look at them all together as a collection. Alright, so here's all 10 inks in the collection. And as you can see, it's quite an interesting selection of colors. Uh, they don't have a red and they don't have a pure yellow, but they do have a fairly pure blue. So all the mixes you make are kind of these interesting combinations. Uh, these are the mixes that I made last time with the more muted colors in the family, except for this really bright uh, Carmen. And I use that in these two. And here are some mixes I made using the inks that we're showing in this haul today, but also a couple from the last one. Oops, sorry about that. So this one here, I mixed Veroni and Marlene. So these two here, and it made this beautiful, vibrant purple. And then I mixed Clara and Marlene, which is these two, to make this lovely tealish blue. And then I mixed uh, Carmen and Veroni to make this really lovely orange. And then I mixed Carmen and Clara, which are these two, to make this beautiful leaf green. I don't know if it's showing up on screen, but this is quite vibrant. It's a lovely green uh, that is different from Emma and obviously different different from Clara here so a nice selection 
of colors and these are just a couple of mixes obviously you know you can mix all of these different ones together but as you can see using those more vibrant inks the Clara, Marlene, Veroni and Carmen you tend to get you know you're obviously going to get these more vibrant mixes uh, but these other ones with Julie and Frida and Emma you know are definitely going to be a little more muted which is super interesting so you have quite a wide range of colors uh, that you can make so I think there's a lot of experimenting to be done and they seem to react really well together I haven't had any issues I actually put uh, this Julie and Frida mix in my platinum preppy and you can see that's how it wrote there and it is going strong it hasn't dried out I mean the great thing about platinum preppies are that you have a little cap on there so the ink doesn't tend to dry out let me just show you this is just one here um, increase the here yeah so you can see in here it has the fountain pen but in the cap it has another little cap on a spring and so that cap when you put this on secures down and protects the ink from drying out so you can keep it a really long time so I use these for my waterproof inks because I don't want them to dry inside my pen and these keep it nice and fluid so I haven't had like I said I haven't had any problem I've put that mix in it hasn't gone freaky or anything so I think you can mix them with no problem and I also put uh, this one the Julie you can see that's a platinum preppy medium and in the platinum preppy see how light it is it really makes it a lot lighter than the glass pen the glass pen puts down a ton of ink so it's a lot thicker but this is this beautiful sort of almost rosy purpley pink and then I also put this one here Frida in a platinum preppy and it ended up being this nice light version here when the glass pen was running out of ink so really lovely you can probably expect all of these to be a little lighter in a pen because the glass pen and these swatches lay it down really thick so it tends to be really saturated yeah and putting it in a fountain pen makes it a lot lighter in most cases unless you're using like a broad nib which lays down a bunch more like this yeah so I think that's it for this oh I'm sorry I forgot to show you what the samples look like on watercolor paper so these are the samples in watercolor paper so a little more a little like same as last time a little richer a little deeper uh, the paper tends to suck it up it did dry really fast this time I didn't put like a big <laughs> bunch at the top like I did on these guys these are the from the last swatches and you can see they're a little bit shiny up here because I put so much ink on there so they dried relatively slow but these overall these inks dry really fast uh, I'm a left-hander and I write with this in my uh, preppy and I've never smudged it it dries super fast on paper yeah I think they're great gonna be great for sketching and putting in your fountain pens um, yeah so I think that's it guys let me know if you have any questions below and I will put all the links to these from Jackson's in the description and I hope it was helpful and I will see you in the next one bye